guys it was a day like no other a day that was very rainy it was raining heavy that morning very very heavy and guys uh we were traveling for barrio um uh, we had left nairobi for western in the night and guys that day was very rainy there was a lot of rain uh we were to travel in the night because um that's the time that people um uh, take the bodies at home to go and bury so this particular time we left in the uh, early hours of the night at about uh, eight in the evening nine in the evening and we proceeded to the uh we headed to western from nairobi guys let me tell you it rained it rained it rained it rained hey, hey. our body was on top of the carrier we were in the, the same vehicle but uh, it was a bus the body was on top uh, and we were inside the bus so guys on reaching uh, Naivasha <laughs> we had something we had something like uh, some sounds and uh, some guys stopped the driver stopped and then some guys jumped out to, to check it was just a thunderstorm. storm there was nothing so we proceeded on reaching Nakuru guys the vehicle stalled it refused to move and the vehicle was mechanically fit it just refused to to, to move <laughs> and that time it was raining and it was about midnight so guys uh guys could not even uh, get out of the vehicle to check the mechanic the mechanism of the vehicle but what surprised me and why i'm doing this video is because hey let me come closer to you guys it was said that it is the deceased that has refused to be buried to be taken home for Bali, and that is why the vehicle is not moving so they said that it is the the deceased the vehicle is storing because the deceased is not very happy he is refusing to go home for Bali. <laughs> a dead person refused to go home for burial and now here i am doing this video to just laugh with you guys because you know um i'm not very familiar with the western uh, and the lake region uh, uh, traditions because i am from the central part of kenya but when i heard we were going because this is a person that uh, we were working with and now on hearing that somebody that we knew and had died because this is a person we were working with all the years we had worked with him he died and we hear that now he's dead in the coffin and he's refusing to go home for bari <laughs> guys let me tell you some of these things you're not supposed to laugh about them because it is dead but coming to remember that time i i, I found it very weird guys and i was like no the vehicle has stalled and you people instead of checking the mechanism of the vehicle you are saying the body has refused to go home for body and those that knew said yes it is him who is refusing in fact what we have to do is to go and uh, talk to him and uh, 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 at least suit him that he agrees to go and immediately we, 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 those were old old people that were in there in the vehicle with us people who knew their tradition that they'll speak to them to him and then they'll suit him and they'll tell him to agree that we go home so guys in the rain some old men jumped out and they they, they, they climbed up the <laughs> the bus and opened the coffin guys as we were being told we didn't see and they spoke to the dead person the language they knew and on coming back they said okay start the vehicle let's go now we have spoken to him <laughs> let me surprise you guys <laughs> the vehicle started and it moved it moved it moved and you know they had tried everything and the vehicle could not even kick now it moved so we proceeded and i was like what guys have you ever had something like that you know, this is something that is unheard of in my tradition. It is something that is unheard of. So, 
guys do you know what i went to that barrier but but with a lot of fear because now what i was thinking is even this body can speak to us this this body can speak to us and tell us something <laughs> I was fearing especially when we got to their home why well, was fearing because i was if i thought they went and spoke to a dead body and it agreed to move it means then that that, that uh, the same body can speak and say something else <laughs> so guys i don't know what community you come from but that community in, in uh, that part of kenya this is kenya guys where the dead can refuse to, re to move to be buried I used to hear it in the news. I used to hear stories in the news and I was like, ah, these people are lying. This can never be, can never be the case. It can never happen. But guys, I got to see it with my two eyes. I got to see it with my two eyes that a viejo mechanically can refuse to move because a dead body that is on top of it, or, or not, or I mean in that vehicle, has decided not to, to agree to be, be buried at home. <laughs> there are many traditions but um, that one surprised me so here we are talking about what you believe I think it's all about believing the beliefs that we have as a people if you believe that something can happen it will happen if you believe that something cannot happen it cannot happen because I think what happens is that these people believe that the dead have, have good powers and I believe the, uh, uh, on the contrary I don't believe a dead person has any powers. When you die, you are dead and you will have no powers. But anyway, who am I to dispute people's beliefs? That was a story I was telling you guys <laughs> about an experience that I had. And isn't it, hey, worry, isn't it surprising that a dead body can decide whether he wants to go be buried or not? <laughs> have you ever had it in your traditions, guys? write in the comment section and let us discuss this topic this is a channel where we discuss issues of life guys like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye